Hurricane Laura had a long journey to get to the Louisiana coastline. Meteorologist Jeff Ray is here now. So, Jeff, take us back. How did this storm play out? Well, this will be a retired name. Uh, this is an historic storm. But back on Wednesday, eight days ago, Wednesday, it was a tropical depression just offshore of Africa. So here it goes. It, now, it was just sitting there now traveling across the open waters of the Atlantic and doing so made its way across the Caribbean. Now it became a named storm before it got into the Lesser Antilles and then crossed the Hispaniola and Cuba. Finally became a hurricane on Tuesday, then became a major hurricane yesterday and then early this morning came on shore as a category four. Now that area right there, that area, that has never seen a hurricane this powerful ever and those records go back since before the Civil War. But that path, that's a 4,300 mile path Laura took to get to the shoreline of Louisiana. It's the strongest hurricane to hit Louisiana in 164 years. In fact, it ties as the strongest hurricane ever to hit the state, the strongest hurricane to hit this area, as I was telling you, and those records go back to 1851. And this is, of course, the first major storm of the Atlantic hurricane season, a category three or higher. Here's all the named storms so far this season. We've had seven landfalls. That breaks a record before September 1st. We're not halfway through the season yet. And we are already at that mark. We've already surpassed the typical season with 13 named storms, four hurricanes, of which three hit the U.S., and then one major hurricane, which was Laura this morning.